Hi, Dom. Hello. <laughs> Thank you for chatting. <laughs> Thank you for having me um, to chat. So how would you define artistic independence for yourself and what does that look like right now in your career? Um, for myself, it's making my own work, I guess, or writing for myself or finding a voice for myself. Um, I'm kind of a unique shape and size and type. Um, and I've always experienced both here and in England being told like, well, we don't know quite where you fit and we don't know what kind of roles uh, that you do um, or that you can do. And so that's been frustrating on my part as an actor. Um, and so I've written sketches for myself. I went through the Groundlings program and, and that was very helpful in terms of writing sketches and producing sketches and then coming to BGB um, with the writing classes and the writing lab course really blew my world open in terms of, oh, I can write more than five pages for myself. And, and since then I've gone on to write feature films, um, but not only for myself anymore, for others and hearing other voices in my head, I guess, that are unrepresented and yeah, so it's been a, a fascinating journey in that way. And you're good at it. Why do you think that is? Um, I think all actors are good writers um, because we're constantly looking at scripts and we know from reading scripts or being in class what feels right and what sounds natural and what, what we want out of scenes or what we are hoping to get or what we're fighting for. And I also think because we're chameleons and we play other characters, it's exciting to leap into that and explore those other voices. My writing process is, is weird because I'll sort of improvise with myself and I'll walk around my apartment in circles having conversations with myself as two different characters back and forth. Kind of like, kind of like Gollum in Lord of the Rings, I guess. <laughs> It's sort of tandem gone hand in hand with the way that I've grown as an actor where I used to I used to go into an audition room wanting to please people or I'd prepare an audition thinking like, oh gosh, I hope this is what they want. I hope this is what they want. I know for myself I've reached a place where I I'm getting better about walking into rooms presenting what I want out of the character and just being like, this is what I see, do you want that? And if you don't want that, then I'm like, all right, cool. It's not mine. Um, and I'm, I'm being at peace with that. I just want my writing to connect with people. I know what films and shows that I like and resonate with me. Um, and I've been told that my writing doesn't fit into a Hollywood mold. And that's great because that's not what I love to watch either. When you're writing, you just need a pen and a piece of paper or a laptop. And I can go home tonight. And I, if I want to, I can write for eight hours and know that I'm working and I'm being creative and I'm doing something rather than waiting for a phone to call or waiting for someone in Hollywood to write a role that I might be right for, but they might be looking for someone that's six foot three and 270 pounds. And because I'm six foot five and 300 pounds, that it's like, ah, no, it's not gonna work. And just, I make, I'm doing stuff for, for myself and I'm being creative and it's an outlet for me. Um, and even if I'm not writing something for myself, even if I'm just writing stories, I love it and I can do it any time I want.